the other way. Oh! Hey. Okay, there we go. Are we, are we live? Are we live? Are people there? Guys, you there? Is anyone watching? <laughs> Say some. Send a sign. Hello from watching. the other side. Uh, Want to see more of those pink balls? <laughs> <You're best. laughs> Where are those pink and blue balls? Bill, 19. Oh, there's 35 people watching now. Oh. 35. Okay. 46. Okay. Someone said, Car Carlota says hi. Hi. Do you like this angle? Great. No. This angle? No. Okay. We're going to be passing it around. Okay, let's pass it around. Here come the... Look, yeah. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Now we're getting the hearts. Let's, uh, let's get the, the balloons, other end of the room, too. Yeah, please. All those balloons? I like that. What's going yes, on, balloons? Yeah. Okay. No, you yeah. holding it now. Okay. Right. Hello. Hello. This is my boyfriend. That's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, there we go. There we go. What's we're up? What's up? We're gonna, we're this gonna is like a, this is our this is our album cover. I think. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Yeah. Yeah. We did. There were some issues with Twitter. Hopefully, you guys could get your questions in because Twitter was down for us for like half the episode. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Sorry. We broke the internet. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta do that. All right, here's a question from Twitter. You got a question? Uh, what does it mean for you to play characters that have such pivotal effects on the LGBTQ community? Ooh. Um, well, I'll be honest. Like, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be so pivotal going into it, so I didn't approach it. I tried to play this character as truthfully as I could. And <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're back. We're back. Um, no, but it's been incredible. It's been incredible um, seeing so many people uh, connecting to these characters, and a lot of people have been writing in saying that you know they they were a Lucas or they were a Philip. They're identifying with um, with those two characters' uh, storylines and their their coming out processes and um, their journeys. And it's really cool that we're impacting a lot of people. Um, I a lot of people have been saying we've inspired them to to come out or to you know be more true to themselves. And um, I think that's good. You know, you go, babe. You <laughs> nailed that answer. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Someone's asking, when's the wedding? Oh. The, the Philip and Lucas? You gotta wait wedding? for season five. <laughs> season five. <laughs> season five. I don't know. They're just kids still. <laughs> I don't know. Have, uh, have there been any scenes filmed that were so emotional that even after the scene ended, you were still stuck in the moment? Oh, That's yeah. A good question for you. Oh, yeah. There were some times when like, yeah. I would see Julianne was shooting a scene and I would see her afterwards and she was. She was crying, and I went up to her. I thought something terrible had happened, and she's like, "Oh, I'm just. We just finished the scene." She was kind of like stepping back into real life, but yeah, sometimes sometimes they would affect us for a little bit afterwards. Mm -hmm. I just needed a hug after some scenes. Yeah, we, there was a lot of hugging going on. Uh, if you could play a different character on Eyewitness, who would it be? Mm. Should we all say? Yeah, everybody yeah, should. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. James. Tony. Hmm. Helen. Why not? <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony, Tony. It's our anniversary. Sita. It's our anniversary. Uh, Helen. Yeah. Helen. All right. Oh, so we can do swapsies. We can Lucas still be. We can, be Tony. we can still be. Tony, we can Helen. still be partners. Oh, we can be no. partners still. I love so. that. Okay. All right. Someone at the end hold it so that we can see all of us until we start moving. Around. Oh, there we go. Yeah. How's that work? Does that work? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Good. You should also see our our narrator or our our questionnaire. Yeah. That's Brett. Monitor. That's Brett. Moderator. That's what I meant. <laughs> Um, a lot of people asking this question, who was the better kisser? I mean, that's me. I mean, you see these lips. I use Carmax. Well, how do we say who's Carmax? <laughs> right. yeah, well, Let's just say uh, we, we came into it with different styles, but we um, both kind of created our own yeah. focus style. And well, the thing is, the kissing actually changed because I think in the beginning you wanted yeah. our kissing to sort of be awkward. Mm -hmm. So, in, especially in the first episode, that our whole kissing scene was supposed to be a little bit like unfamiliar um, for Lucas. Like mm -hmm. he wasn't really sure how to do it, and it was a little awkward. And and then I think it throughout the episode it, it does progress. Our kissing style changes. So yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> Come on, uh, yeah. I yeah. give Tyler a ten <laughs> out of ten. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What is the most important message you want to convey with your characters? Ooh. Should we all take turns on that? Take turns. Yeah. Run. Um, okay, I'll, I'll go first with that. <clears throat> um, uh, just if you're dealing with any kind of internalized homophobia and all this inner struggle, just know that you you can come out and there's people that will support you and also that you don't owe anybody an explanation, you know, for being who you are. And uh, you don't have to lead with that, you know. And um, anyways, that's what I want, you know. 
Um, maybe that there's always uh, there's always a second chance in life. Um, even if you come from bad circumstances, you're you're currently in a bad situation. Um, there's always hope for a better uh, tomorrow, and uh, the future can be brighter if you stay positive, even through the hardships. What was the question? <laughs> what, uh, what, what, what do you have to convey with your character? Uh, come on, get get some more red hearts going on. <laughs> Wah, <weak. laughs> I don't know. Pass. I'm sorry. Oh. Pass. <laughs> here, here. I'll throw. I'll throw. Here. I'll I'll lighten it up. I'll lighten it up. I'll lighten it up. With with my character, I would like to convey just doing what you love. Tony does what he loves. Tony does his dream job. His dream job is be a cop, have meaning and purpose in it. You know, he just does what he loves and he attacks every day. Happy and excited because he gets to do what he loves. Mm-hmm. See all those hearts chop up? See? Yeah. Isn't that a good idea? Whoa! Look at them all! Oh, heart true. explosion no. right now! Whoa! How many times did Adi write in also and heart her explodes. heart explodes? His yeah. heart explodes. That was in the script. Alright, I'll say something else, which is I, I just feel very proud to be a part of this show that explores all these different types of relationships um, between Helen and Tony and, and Helen within her marriage and her foster son, and then especially with these two boys, and that being gay is just a part of who they are and not everything. Mm-hmm. And I feel proud to be a part of bringing that into people's living rooms. Yeah. Bouncing hearts! Yeah! Yeah! Look at that. yeah. yeah. You got the heart. He did it! Yeah! Uh, a lot of people on Facebook are asking, are there any parts of your character that you relate to, that you feel similar to? Hell yeah. Say it one more time. You love Helen. Are there any parts of your character that you feel that you relate to? Of my character? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I do get. I get to do what I love, and I love <laughs> Helen. But I get to do what I love. Tony gets to do what he loves, and he's very passionate. He's very excited about doing his job. And hang on, hang so on, do I. Hang, as on, an actor. hang on. You, your character's passionate. <laughs> listen, listen, honey. It's a quiet Linda, passion. Honey, Linda, <laughs> listen, it's, a, it's a passion that. Yeah, he does. Watch the second episode, all right? He tells it. <laughs> uh, I want to know, how did Philip and Lucas originally meet? Um, oh, yeah, we should, we should tell that story. Yeah, I guess now's the time to, to say the yeah, backstory we're gonna, that we we're kind gonna, of yeah, worked with. Yeah, it doesn't really, um, it's never really explained. It's, it's, not show, it's not shown on screen, really. It's, it's explained, but unfortunately bit. you guys won't be able to see those, those flashbacks. I know that question's been yeah. thrown around a lot, and we should just settle that. But that was matter. something that we had discussed going into the show so that we at least could feel like how it all kind of went down. So there's a little bit of a story. Should we maybe share like what we discussed? Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Yeah. I, I, think, I think it'd be good. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be a fanfic about this. Yeah, somebody this. make a comic strip of it. Marty Art, I know, I see you. Marty Art. Second time I'm shouting you out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's what's the story? We were, we were at like a... Well, you're new to, you know, I obviously noticed you um, as this newcomer. It's impossible to miss you. You know, this cute boy comes to town. and uh, mm-hmm. Well, it's I, such um, a small town. Anyone I knew think I, like, I, the, that? Well, we, we ran with, like, Lucas kind of staged, like, an accidental meeting between the two of them where he noticed that he would always go and pick up something from uh, the grocery uh, the store. Convenience like the, the store. The convenience store. Yeah. And that Lucas just conveniently went to that, you know, saw him outside and was like, saw him with the camera and stuff, was like, hey, you know, like, what, you know, struck up a conversation and asked him if he would uh, shoot some footage, you know? Yeah. And then Philip was just like, sure, why why not? They started mm-hmm. hanging out. Obviously, Philip wasn't sure at the time if Lucas was into it or whatever, but then things slowly started feeling like, wait, maybe there's a chance that there's more than just, like, a friendship with him and... Um, and then you see the scene in the cabin, and that was that's really the first time that yeah. Philip takes it to that step further, and then that's where we sort of enter this story. We've only known each other mm-hmm. for maybe about six weeks, I think, when the show begins. And uh, but Lucas was the one who actually made that encounter happen. Yeah, um, he initiated you know, the he initiated the thing. it, but make, made it seem like it was just oh, like hey, you're new here. Oh, what's up? Yeah, yeah. it was so it was sort of mutual in a way. Mm-hmm. Someone wants to know if Philip and Lucas deal with something bigger than the murder. I saw that. What's bigger than the murder? A triple homicide. Shit, what kind of life are you living? My God. <laughs> oh my. See, like I was saying, even if you're in bad circumstances right Yo. now, dealing with quadruple murders. Oh my God. Man. <clears throat> that's, that's the biggest. Oh, man. I got a question from Twitter. Um, what was the most intense scene you've all filmed thus far? In this, in this show? Oh, yeah. thus far. Okay, yeah. Um, 
as I'm holding this, I'll say killing the baby. Yeah, that was yeah. tonight scene. Oh, that was such a good yeah. moment. Uh, maybe oh, the so the quarry mad. scene in the first episode that was intense. <laughs> that was our that scene in the quarry when we're, yeah. when he throws the gun into the water and he's like, "I'm not gay like you." That was the first scene that James and I had shot together, mm -hmm. actually. Um, it was the first dialogue also. scene. It was so cold. All the producers were there watching us. We were afraid we were going to get fired. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it was very nerve-wracking. Um, yeah. so, but I think it actually kind of worked for the scene. Yeah. Oh, also, the, the, roof, the rooftop scene was like a really hard one. I had a headache after because it was so emotional. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> they can still hear me. Um, a lot of people have been asking this from the, from the other broadcast, too. You said on Twitter that you were, were listening to Troy Sivan's Youth to prepare yeah. for the role. Yeah. What music have all of you been listening to? Uh, when you were... Oh, I'm getting into this. I know what Julianne was listening to. What? Work, 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 work. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and Bieber. I like and me some Biebs. Yeah. I'm a believer. <laughs> the material was so heavy on the show. Actually, when we were all together, like, in the green room before we were shooting, we would listen to fun stuff. Like, a lot of... Mm -hmm. a, lot of um, a lot of, um... A lot of, uh, uh Prince. Does somebody else want to hold it? Yeah, Prince. It was yeah. the yeah. summer of Prince. Prince. Yeah, Prince. Prince. Sure. Yeah, Lucas's guilty pleasure is some 41. <laughs> He loves riding and listening to that. Yeah. There's some genuine. Oh, you yeah. know there's yeah, some genuine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kelly. Guys, come yeah, on. Okay. If you, if you ignition. saw ignition, ignition remix to ignition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, Little if you saw DJ Snake. Fresh, yeah. Yeah. DJ Snake. That's the song that we danced oh, to. Oh yeah. Okay. Our song. So but right now, our song. Julianne and I. Okay, this is one day when Julianne just went crazy. She broke it down. She danced to this song, the entire song, when we were on set. The entire damn song. We're trying to find that right now. One of our crewmates has it. It's We're gonna DJ reach out. Snake. There's a video. DJ of this? Yes, yeah, we took a video. Oh my good Google Mooga. It was the funniest. Yo guys, red, like, red hearts. If you need to see that video, <laughs> get those red hearts. We don't get those red hearts. You're not gonna see. The Are those comments? Oh yeah, yeah, no. There's. They want to see the video. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna try to dig up that video. We're gonna try to dig up. I want to see the video. But Pony came up a lot. Yeah. yeah. If you saw my Halloween video, then you know, I mean, the Pony's kind of my stuff. I had to take it down, though. Uh, <laughs> someone wants to know, how many takes did it um, take to film Phillips coming out scene? Oh, man. Um, Two. One. He's a one-take wonder. One-take wonder. Um, that, was a, that was a Scott episode, so... Maybe 14. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, I, think I think two. I think two. Uh, two. Two. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't remember how many takes. I, I don't think too many. I think it sort of just happened and it felt good and we were able to move on. It mm. was it. It was magic. <laughs> magic in the air. Uh, Desiree wants to know, how was your first kiss? I heard there was meatball sandwiches maybe involved. Oh, oh <laughs> during in the first, first kiss? kiss? Yeah. Well, um, we didn't know we were going to be shooting that oh, scene yeah. that night, um, so we yeah, were the like, story. We, well, I don't eat meat, but he, he had like a giant meatball sub, and but I had, you had a, a foot veggie long. sub or something. Hey, didn't nobody say the show I'm was done. PG. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, no, but that, you know, that scene was really, um, that was a lot, you know, there was a lot of eyes on us. <laughs> Cold. That's the greatest <laughs> laugh. <laughs> just Gil turns into a child when he laughs. It's just the greatest thing of our lives. What was the first thing you did when you found out you got a part in the show? The first thing we did? Yeah, when you found out you got the part. I went to acting class actually. I was like, really? <laughs> yeah! Right! <laughs> right. <laughs> I really did. I was literally about to walk into acting class. And I, was like, I thought you meant you signed up. I was like, no. Man, I'm gonna learn how to act. I'm gonna learn how to act, man. Good job. They don't know, I'm not a real actor. How much job I got? Shit. You got a week? I'm up and ready. Oh, shit. <laughs> I called my mom, I think, and told her. She was stoked. I called Tyler's mom, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Maybe not. 
So this is going great. <laughs> oh, uh, Julianne, you got uh, what's the first well, one? I, um, I think I said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said thank you. Thank you. So Try to tell your entire kids. Gil, what did you do? This is the late night. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Right now. Oh. We're getting a lot of Spain should be getting up right about now, so they're just kind of doing all this. Mm-hmm. This Shouts is completely Madrid. unrelated to the show, um, but if you had, could have one superpower, what would it be? Oh, I already know. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'd be Magneto, man. You know how much metal is in this world? What? <laughs> well, what's the superpower? Magneto. What's the, the superpower? He, he can silicone metal. Silicon is metal. Magneto! Okay. He doesn't, he doesn't right. have a, a did label. You make, did you make that name? No, no watch no, no, no. X-Men. X-Men. Oh. Magneto. Don't watch yeah. it. <laughs> Oh. Y'all know, y'all know Magneto. Hey, Grandmaster, what would what would yours be? To change people's minds. Mm. Ooh, that's Charles Xavier. Oh my God, see. I know. I What'd you do, Sugar Bum? Um. What was the other part of it? Mama Savage. Ooh. Mama Savage. What? I don't know. X-ray oh vision. no, Honey Bunny Biscuits. Yeah, there you X-ray go. X-ray vision. Yeah, I'll do some X-ray vision. I would um I would want to be a shapeshifter. Is that a superpower? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's that's kind of like sorcery. That's 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 um doing? that's that's um blue mystique. Sure, mystique mm-hmm. shapeshifting. Mm-hmm. Which X Men would you be? We're already going to uh, te- teleportation. That's Nightcrawler. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> 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 Does he know his X Men? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's why I just said Magneto. Yeah. Uh, we have a question. What is the best episode of the season? Mm-hmm. The next one. <laughs> yes, episode five. Just wait, you guys. Man, just wait till that thing happens in episode five. The thing, five no, the, hang on. Seriously, the thing that's great about the show is that the more invested you get, the the more rich the story, the better it'll be. So, you love it already. You're gonna love it even more when you see the next episode. You're gonna love it even more when you see the other one. And the hearts just keep on coming. Thank you so much. Keep those hearts very, coming. Very, very, very much. I would say episode 10 because that's the last episode. I think 8, 9, and 10. Yeah. Really, it's like it, it builds up to that point and then it's mm-hmm. just a train mm-hmm. rushing to the end. And it's, it's mm-hmm. really amazing. The energy, yeah. especially, that happens in, yeah. in those last three episodes. Yeah, because mm-hmm. the story wraps up, you know? So, yeah. so you get to see how yeah. this all plays out. We have and, to break some hearts right now. Right, Watch bro, those bro. hearts disappear. Hang on. <laughs> Um, what are you laughing about? Second season, maybe. Someone, someone goes, it's taking over my life, Gil. <laughs> it's taking over your life? The show well, is, uh, is that a cry for help? From, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, 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 what can we do for you? What, what can we do? <laughs> I mean, we're talking. We're all hanging. Help what? us help you. There's some yeah. blue things now. Yeah, yeah. Hearts what? and blue things. Oh, what is those? Those are thumbs. Things. Those are thumbs. Oh. Thumbs up. episode five and four emojis. I, I already did yeah, episode four emojis. emojis. Yeah. The Twitter yeah. 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 Do that. What if you don't talk emoji? What if you don't speak it? Make five faces right now that describe episode five. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh. 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 And then I can't do the other one. Is there another oh, there mysterious go. baby in episode five? What are those yellow things now? <laughs> Ghost <laughs> questions. <laughs> I think they're happy faces. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Ha ha. Oh, okay. Ha ha faces. Ha ha. Okay, that's good. It's getting mad. I couldn't hold some of the things. I'm going to cream now. I'll create craziness out of anything. I'll do how we ended the last one, which is what is your one piece of advice to someone who might be going through a hard time with their self identity right now? Mm. I thought I answered that at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, at the last one. There's right. a lot of people who I did it on this one too. Yeah. Say it again. James has the thing about repeating himself. Yeah. Yeah. He, he don't do it. it. Yeah. He don't do it. Yeah. We would do yeah. one you take and he's like, we're done, right? Back yeah. to the beginning. I already said that line though. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll definitely go again. I, th- I think one, one thing that that I said when we talked before, and it's really true, especially for young people watching the show who might relate to Philip and Lucas' storyline, is that it does get better. Your life is not always going to feel like how it feels today, and you can find people that you love and that love you, and you can find something that you love to do and a place that you feel a part of the community, and, and it gets better. Mm-hmm. And ignore the haters, you know? Mm-hmm. Those haters out there, just just turn the other way. Click, click X, stay away from it, ignore it, and then, yeah, like she said, it, it gets better. Go where the love is. Find your community. Find what you love. Have a purpose in life. Mm-hmm. Because if, you, if you're if doing what you love, then you have 
you have a reason to tell yourself um, to live and to live a, a happy life. You know, to thrive. Yeah, and every all like you know the younger audience that's that's in like high school and having issues, you know, in school and stuff. Like, there's so much more life outside of high school after high school. You know, high school, just school at that age kind of mm -hmm. feels like that's life because that's been like your whole, whole life. World. That's yeah. been your whole world. That's been your whole life. And, and there's so much more when you finish. You know, if you, just because you're going through hard times in school doesn't mean you're going to be going through hard times the rest of your life. You know, so. Yeah, you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. Be, be who you are and, and make no apologies for that. Yeah. A lot of people talk about your happiness because they <laughs> don't have happiness of their own. So. Thanks. <laughs> All right, just in case anyone yeah. heard it the no, first time. <laughs> yeah. Right, cool. And ask, you know, Tyler's still in high school, so <laughs> ask, you know, don't worry, he, he knows it gets better. He knows. When's graduation, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so yeah. much for watching and allowing us to trend online and supporting us so much because you guys. You know, all the reason that this, you know, will have further life with the show and these stories and these characters. So please show more love and we'll show you more greatness. Yeah. All right. And give a round of applause to these guys right here. Yeah. 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 Just as important. Yeah. We are out. How do I turn it off? How do I turn this off? Finish?